This is an exercise on cobweb plots. So use a cobweb plot to try and figure out the orbit of the points 1.6 and 1.8. Drawing these plots is always fun, but we need to be careful to draw them in the right order. So if we start by looking at the orbit of 1.6, first thing we need to calculate is f of 1.6. So we start from 1.6 and then we just go up until we reach the graph corresponding to f of x. Now we need to turn that output back into an input and that we can do by moving horizontally until we hit the line y equal to x. And now we have a new input over here. And then we can keep on applying F to that input. So turning output back to input and so on and so forth until we finally end up over here. So this is the orbit of 1.6. Let's do the same thing with 1.8. So first we go to F of X then we go straight or more or less straight. Let's try that again. Then we go straight to the line y equal to x okay and then we keep on iterating that function until finally we end up over here so note that 1.6 and 1.8 are quite close together but still they end up in completely different fixed points over here speaking of uh, fixed points we have three we have three intersections between the line y equal to x and f of x if you want, you can quickly calculate what their numerical values are. So for the fixed point, we have that if we apply our map, nothing changes. So f of x is equal to x. And in our case, f of x is 3x minus x cubed divided by 2. And that should be equal to x. Or x minus x cubed should be equal to 0. Or x1 minus x squared should be equal to zero. Then there you can clearly see that the three different fixed points are minus one, zero, and plus one. Let's see what happens if we start out from a point which is very close to the origin, to the, the fixed point in the middle. So let's clean this up here. And let's say we start close to the origin over here. But if we then draw our cobweb diagram, you see that we run away from the origin. It doesn't help to start from the other side, you will also run away. So here you can clearly see that the origin is a fixed point, but it's an unstable fixed point. The orbits run away from, uh, from the origin. On the other hand, if you start very close to the other fixed points, so let's say over here, for example, then you see indeed that you do still converge to that fixed point. So minus one and plus one are stable fixed points. The origin is an unstable fixed point.